guys, it's favorites time once again. It just rolled by so quickly. I felt like I just sat down to do the August favorites and now I'm doing the September favorites. It's October's right around the corner and I'm so excited. It's my favorite month um, weather-wise in the Chicagoland area. I just think it's the most beautiful time of year here. It's still warm, but it's mild. It's not as humid. Um, it's not as muggy. Um, it has a bit of a Christmas crispness to the air. Um, there, the leaves start to change and it goes through the, basically through October is right when October hits is when it really starts. And then by the end of October, it's mostly done. Um, and it's just a really, really nice time of year here. So if you're ever in the mood to visit Chicago, that would be my recommendation on timing. Um, if just based on weather, not necessarily based on like things to do or see or whatever, but it's just a beautiful time of year here. Anyway, I'm gonna go through my lifestyle favorites from the past month, so from the month of September. Uh, everything ranging from clothes and accessories, a new beauty item I'm really into, um, home goods, multimedia stuff, and then of course I always talk about food, tasty treats at the end. Um, so, my clothing favorite of the month, and I, this is like my new favorite thing. This is like my security blanket, <laughs> although it's not a blanket really, you know, but um, it's just, it's just, to me it's just so cozy, and this is a, an open style cardigan. I think some people call these like flyaways. This, you're gonna be like, what is this? It just looks like a blob of gray fabric. So I will zoom in a little picture for you guys, a little stock photo so you can see what it actually looks like. This is a cardigan from, uh, I bought it at Nordstrom months and months ago, like maybe four or five months ago, um, from a brand called Bobo. Uh, and I was, I was going through in the, spring and late winter and spring actually. I was wearing a lot of long open cardigans. It's just easy with a newborn and nursing all the time and stuff like that just to have that extra layer but to have it not be like nothing with zippers or buttons so I didn't have to worry about like scratching or anything. Well I bought this and I really just started wearing it a lot in the past few weeks since we've been home from Utah actually and I have just fallen in love with it. I did wear it a little bit in the spring but I really I really started wearing it a lot this this past month, and it is so soft and cozy. What material is this? It's like a rayon. Oh, it's a modal spandex. 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 Modals. Modal. I don't know how to pronounce any of these things. Whatever. It's a blend, uh, but it's super, super, super soft and cozy. And I'm actually thinking of buying it in one or two other colors because I wear it to death and I love it. This is the charcoal gray. It's not inexpensive. I think it's upwards of $60 if I'm remembering correctly. I think so, but it to me, I wear it every day. I wear it every morning. Um, it layers over everything because it's this perfect gray color and it's the perfect weight right now for just a little bit of chilliness in the house in the morning and in the evening and late at night, you know, after Charlotte goes to bed. And I'm pretty warm when I'm running around with her all day, but um, you know, the first thing in the day and the last thing in the day, it's just sort of my cozy thing and I love, love, love it. So I had to mention that. I have a new bag and it's actually not brand new. I've had this for a couple of months now a little over a couple of months and I've been wearing it every single day. And it is this Legacy backpack, beautiful, gorgeous leather by J.W. Hume, 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 bleh. I don't know how to pronounce it and I apologize if that offends you in any way. Not meant to offend anybody. I really don't know how to pronounce it, but it is so beautiful. I was on the hunt for a leather purse style backpack for basically ever since Charlotte was born. Within the first month, I figured out, I love my Skip Hop diaper bag. I did a whole video on it. I will put a link to it in the card above. But within a month of having Charlotte, I figured out that I was not the type of woman who's going to carry around a big diaper bag all the time. It just, I think you either do or you don't. And that's a great bag. I've traveled. It's perfect for travel. It's excellent. It holds so much. The organization is great, but it's just not something that I carry around every day. And um, for a while I was just, ba I was baby wearing Charlotte anytime I took her out anywhere when she was really little. Uh, up until about a couple of months ago when she started being, you know, around six months she started to really being able to sit on her own. So that's when we started, I started like sitting her in grocery shopping carts and things. Um, we have this little like cover thing that goes in it that's great. It's got like pillows all around. I'll pop in a picture if I can find one, it's really cute. 
that's on Amazon too. I'll put a link to that below if you're curious because I always get questions about that um, when I show it on Snapchat and stuff. But um, I knew that at, after I stopped baby, when I was baby wearing her, I was just keep my phone in one pocket and my keys in my wallet in the other back pocket. And I would just have my hands free. Uh, but now that she's being able to sit and, and when we go to the grocery store or to Target or whatever, I'm pushing around the cart, I can have a backpack on. And now that she's older, we're doing more, um, you know, kind of longer outings where I need a whole bag. Uh, but I don't need the whole diaper bag. Long story short, this is my new, what I'm calling a diaper purse. Uh, basically, it's mostly stuff for her in there. Uh, changing pad, diapers, um, some snacks, um, some layering things, like a little hat and some booties and a sweater, some wipes and toys. And then there's a couple of my things too, my wallet and keys, of course, some lotion and lip balm. And I have my little walking pharmacy in the bottom of the bag. Um, the great feature, the, what sold me really on this bag, aside from it being absolutely stunningly beautiful leather, is this pocket. And it was so high. I looked at so many backpack purses, but so few have this pocket. And to me, that's really important because I do still baby wear Charlotte a lot. And I like to be able to have my backpack on and her on, especially, you know, when we're out you know, doing something like having an adventure or something. And I need all this stuff all day, but I want my wallet in my bag. Um, I can keep my wallet in my bag and I don't have to take her off of me or take the backpack off of me. When I'm wearing her, when I'm out and about to reach my wallet, I simply just reach back. I can unzip the pocket, even with her on and, and on and me in the front and I can get to my wallet. I don't have to remove anything from me. So that's what really sold me on this bag. Um, but I really wanted a leather bag. I was, I had my heart set on it because I wanted something really durable, really my style that was going to last. And this is me to a T when it comes to style. Like I don't consider myself a very stylish person or very up on the trends or anything. I know backpacks are really in right now. Um, I don't have a trendy backpack. I have this beautiful, gorgeous, handmade, beautiful leather backpack um, that I absolutely love. So uh, if you guys wanna see uh, what's in my bag, um, to see how I use this, how this is an everyday bag for me, functioning as a diaper, like a mini diaper bag slash purse, um, I'd be happy to film one of those for you. So let me go know if there's interest in that. I mean, it's kind of just like a smaller version of my what's in my diaper bag, but it's a little bit different, I suppose. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, but I love, I love that I had to mention it. Um, like I said, I've been wearing, carrying it for a couple of months now, and I don't see myself using another bag for a very, very long time because it is just so functional and beautiful, and and it's me, it's me to a T. So that 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 to me is a good bag. <laughs> it's got all all bases covered. Uh, for beauty, I have a new favorite um, eye pencil. These are, what do they call these? Uh, like an eye stick, cream eye color? Uh, maybe like a cream eye color? I'm not sure exactly what you call these. Um, but basically, I wear something like this every day. Not today, I'm wearing full, uh, full shadow eye shadow look today. Um, but generally, I do wear a little makeup every day. Ever since I had Charlotte, I started doing that just to make myself feel a little bit more put together, even on the days where I didn't go out at all. <laughs> For the first few months, um, we didn't go out a lot because it was winter and, you know, there are lots of reasons. But anyway, I like having a little makeup on every day, but I don't have time to do like a whole face and I don't really feel the need to do a whole face. Well, I love using these eyeshadow sticks. There it is, eyeshadow stick, that's what it is. Um, because just to do a wash of color, then I throw on some mascara and a little blush and I call it a day. And I wear like a tinted moisturizer most days. I don't wear foundation. Um, but these are my new favorites. For a while, I was really into the, the ones by the Balm, but I found that they dried out kind of fast and I use them every day so that was kind of disappointing to me because I really love that color that one kind of like purpley color I can't remember the name of it off my top of my head but I have a new favorite these are by nude sticks they're the magnetic matte eye color uh, or magnetic eye colors I guess one of them is matte um, eyeshadow sticks they are so creamy and soft and so easy to put on and blend even just with your finger. I have three shades. I have two that are kind of shimmery, so Angel. Um, they're all neutral. Lilith. So Angel's kind of like this champagne-y color. Lilith, well Lilith is a little bit more champagne-y and maybe Angel's a little bit more like a dusty rose gold kind of color. And then Putty, 
um, is a matte color that basically almost looks like my skin tone. Um, my eyes, my eyelids are pigmented. They're a bit darker than my skin tone. So this kind of evens it out to almost flat, but it, it creates such a really, really pretty soft, like no makeup makeup look. Love those. And they're just so creamy. I can't get, tell you how creamy they are. They're really nice. Um, so yes, those were my beauty favorites. For home goods, I know I talked about laundry stuff a few months ago. I had actually bought these earlier in the year. These are wool dry dryer balls. So for your like for your dryer, instead of using um, f uh, uh, what are those called? Um, dryer sheets. Um, you use these to keep your clothes soft and kind of supple, uh, or linens or whatever. Um, Dryer sheets have a lot of chemicals in them. I haven't used dryer sheets in a really long time. I used to use dryer balls that were these little kind of silicone nubby balls and I used them for years and years and I loved them. But they would always wear out and I wanted to try something new. So I bought these from Amazon. This is really funny. This is I'm fluffy and I know it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the brand is called Feeling Fluffy, but I'm not sure. They're 100% wool dryer balls. They come in a bag in a set of six. Uh, I think they're about 15 or $16, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I've used these for a good four or five or six months now. I can't exactly remember when I first got them, um, but I did say that I would comment on them when I had used them for a while, and I've used them for a while, and they are great. I think they're even more effective than the little nubby ones. Um, I feel like they're gonna last a really long time. I feel like, um, they do a good job of helping circulate the clothes evenly in the dryer. It helps them dry faster. So I have six of them, right? So I use anywhere between three and six, depending on the weight of the load in the dryer. So if I have like a huge load of towels, I'll put in all six. For most clothing loads, I'll do three to four um, balls at a time. Um, but they're great. And, and I would highly recommend them if you're looking for dryer balls. I think it's a really good price for a set of six and like I said, 100% wool. So those are really great. I have a few multimedia favorites to share. This is going to show just how much I really live under a rock, but I only just recently learned who Lindsay Sterling is. You probably know who she is if you like live on this planet and watch YouTube, but I didn't know. She is a YouTube musician. That's where she started her career. Um, she's a violinist who also dances and her kind of shtick is she dances while she plays the violin. She um, writes her own music. She has several albums now. The one that I, the only one I've listened to and the one I that is my favorite this month is Brave Enough. It's her new album. I'm really enjoying it. It's kind of not music. I mean, I love a lot of different kinds of music, but it's not kind of the kind of music I thought I would naturally gravitate to because it has sort of an electronica feel to it a little bit, although it's very um, kind of folksy, um, violin-y. <laughs> violin I don't know. <laughs> That's not a very good description, but uh, it's a really eclectic music. It's really kind of soothing and also, I don't know. I we When I was in Utah, I was listening to the album a lot in the car. You had to drive really far to get anywhere. It's like 35 minutes each way to Target. It's 30 minutes each way to Whole Foods. It's, you know, like 30, at least 30 minutes to really get anywhere. Um, and I just found it was like really good driving music. Um, but anyway, so I found out about her music first because every once in a while I will look search for Pentatonix on YouTube, which is one of my favorite bands. They're an acapella group. I love, love, love them. They're an all-time favorite. And every once in a while when I haven't like seen anything from them pop up in a while, I'll do a search. Well, when I had searched, I had found this music video that they did in collaboration with Lindsey Sterling on a song called Radioactive, which by the way, I love that song. I've listened to that whenever I'm like stretching after my workout. It's like my cool down song now. Uh, this month at least it has been recently. Um, and that's how I found out about her. And I was just so intrigued by her very unique approach to music and combining music and dance and, and expression. And I just, I really, you know, she's got music videos that are very kind of out there and interesting and kind of grab your attention and it's just different and so I thought I, sh I thought I should mention it because it's I don't know it's fun and another favorite I have is a new YouTube channel and actually a coordinating Etsy store um, fire oh, wait let me get this right firefly paper shop now if you watch Allison Anderson here on YouTube uh, what 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 was her 
old name. It was Amarique's was what she used to go by, but now it's Allison Ander Anderson. I've been watching her for years and years and years, basically since the beginning of I started watching YouTube. She was one of the handful of beauty gurus I started watching before I even started my own channel. I really, really like her videos. I think I've been watching her that long. Don't quote me on that, but I've been watching her for many years. Um, I just find her so soothing to listen to, her voice and just her, her kind of aura is very grounded and centering and just, I don't know, she's very easy to watch and listen to, especially. And she's opened a new channel or started a new channel in the last couple of months in, um, because she opened an Etsy stop, shop where she's selling planner stickers. Sorry, I just had like a total brain fart. Did you see that just happen right there? You just saw it, didn't you? It like came over me. Anyway, I love her planner videos, her plan with me videos, her um, new release videos. I just love them. I don't watch a lot of planner videos. I just, I don't. There's, I don't. I, there's a couple of people I watch on YouTube like religiously right now and the her shop is her shop at the uh, YouTube store is one uh, what is wrong with me her YouTube channel for her sticker shop is one of those because it is so soothing sometimes at the end of the day if I'm feeling like a little frazzled or I just need to like kind of zone out for a little bit I watch her <laughs> videos because not that I'm zoning out while watching them but it, they're just really very soothing. Her voice, her stickers are so beautiful. I love the way she places them. I just find it kind of meditative. Um, so I actually did place an order. I'm, I'm hoping to get that order in this week before this video goes up. So if it does, I will insert a little clip. I bought this her Halloween kit. Oops. Sorry, my baby monitor just beeped at me, but it's it's fine. Charlotte's sleeping. Uh, I bought her Halloween kit. I don't do no white space planning. If you guys saw my planner video earlier this week, playing with me, that's really the kind of planning I do. But every once in a while, I like doing something a little different, and I'm just intrigued by her style, and I wanted to give it a go. So I was thinking I might film that just for fun, me attempting to do the no white space planning just for fun, even though it's not my normal way of um, planning as like kind of a bonus plan with me video. So let me know if there's interest in that too, in addition to the, the bag video, um, and I can do that. But I just, I really enjoy her channel, her main channel for sure. It's been a favorite for a long time, but I really love her new channel. You should go check it out if you like watching planner videos. She's just, she's fun and soothing to watch, I would say. Um, and uh, definitely check out her new shop because she makes beautiful, beautiful stickers. And it's just amazing to me how she figured out how to do that within it seems like I remember was it on snapchat she said she wanted to get a sticker printer or whatever it was and then it's like a month later she opened her shop and it's like how did you figure out how to do that that fast I'd love to do that but it, honestly it just I don't I don't I can't do that and this and you know and be a mom at the same time right now it's, it's just I gotta make time for you know keeping up my house together as well um, but that is something that I'd love to be able to do not open a shop but just to print oh, my stickers for myself, but I can't, whatever. I, I, I rely on other people's talent, time and talent, because there's just so much out there. There's really no need for me to make my own. But anyway, give her a shout out, show her some support on her new channel, and her shop is really fun to look at too, if you like planner stickers. Okay, last but not least, a food favorite. I, when we were out in Utah, I went to Whole Foods the beginning of our trip looking for my favorite granola, which is the Granola by Milk and Honey is the brand, and it's, I don't it's the original cafe mix, that's it. Because that's the granola I've used and loved for years. I, I, I've been in a phase with yogurt and granola and berries as my breakfast in the morning for the past like few months. It's, I go through phases with breakfast, and that's sort of like my warm weather phase. Well, they didn't have it, so I picked up this other one um, just to try something different. It's the Cascadian Farm Organic Farm Stand Harvest Honey Almond and Chia Granola. I thought, oh, that sounds good. And it looks good, too. I like that I could see it um, through the clear bit. It is so God, it is my new favorite granola. It has such a delicate crunch, and the chia really makes it that way. It's got slivered almonds in it, which is great. It's just very refreshing. It's kind of almost a lighter granola. It doesn't have a lot of coating to it, which is good because it has less sugar in it. It has whole grain oats, sunflower oil, honey. It has honey and cane sugar, of course. Almonds, brown rice, amaranth, black chia seeds, molasses, sea salt, vanilla extract, and vitamin E 
um, added to preserve freshness. And most of those things are organic. Um, so good ingredients. It is delicious. It is so good and I've really been enjoying it so I wanted to mention it. I was afraid this was something they were only going to have out in Utah because it says it's made in Washington. I thought, oh, maybe it's like a West Coast thing, but nope, they have it at my Whole Foods here too. So I would highly recommend that if you're into trying something new in the granola department. It is so yummy mixed in with yogurt. It's so good. I don't even, I haven't even like been mixing in berries lately because I've been saving them for Charlotte because she loves them so much. I don't want to eat her, you know, eat all the berries and the berries are kind of slim pickings in the organic department department right now. Um, so I've just been having that plain with yogurt and it's so good. Uh, and that's it you guys. That's all my favorites. I feel like I talked a lot about things this month, um, but it's like a smaller list, but I talked a lot. So uh, I'm wondering if you guys like that kind of new, it's like not really a new way, but it's a I don't know what I'm saying. I better stop talking now because my brain is starting to go like this. So um, I'm gonna go. If you had any favorites from the past month that you'd like to share, I'd love to know. I do read your comments and I do so enjoy hearing from you guys. So please let me know below if you care to share. And I hope that you had a wonderful month and that you are looking forward to a beautiful October. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Take care. Bye.